as a recovering perfectionist, I took motherhood, parenthood so freaking seriously. I read every parenting book you could think of. I went to therapy for 10 years. I took my kids to therapy. I took my kids to therapy with me. I was constantly trying to be the best parent I could be for each of my four kids. And guess what? I failed. Okay, I'm not failing, but it sure does feel that way sometimes. But I'm also not perfect either. I'm not a straight A parent. And nobody is. No one's perfect. I would say I'm like a solid B parent. When they were younger, I would have said that I was an A plus parent and I had that shit down. But now that I have teenagers and they're growing and changing and evolving and free thinkers and critical thinkers and have their own beliefs and personality and needs, I'm realizing, oh my God, I'm having the hardest time meeting each of my kids, each of my four kids needs. And then add on top of it, being a single mom and having to work, pay the bills, take care of the house, cook, clean, do the landscaping, fix the things around the house and raise my kids. It ain't easy. It's not easy. Would I have still gotten divorced? Yes. Absolutely, because we were not doing our kids any favor by being in a loveless marriage together and showing them that. I tell you, I want so bad to be perfect in this area and to be a perfect parent, but I have to remind myself that as long as I'm taking care of my kids, as long as I'm providing for everything that they need, and as long as I'm not being abusive, which means uh, controlling or manipulating them, then we're good. I'm always trying to give them the tools that they need to perform successfully in life and to help them be free thinkers, critical thinkers, have speak their voice, know their truth. And yet sometimes it won't be enough or be exactly what they need. So my motto is never give up on your kids. They need you. We have to be strong for them.